Hello and welcome back to the Proactive Investors New York studio. I'm Christine Corrado. With me on Skype today is Jim Kraus, EVP of Sales and Marketing at Capstone Turbine, and George Steinbrenner IV, who is the youngest team owner in IndyCar history and grandson of Yankees owner George Steinbrenner III. Thank you both so much for joining me today. Thank you for having us. So you're both at the 103rd Indianapolis 500, where Capstone is joining Green Energy Sustainable Solutions and a multi-race sponsorship of the number 88 IndyCar. Jim, why did Capstone feel this was such an important sponsorship? Um, so, so Capstone has relatively good recognition within our space. People that you know buy generators or specify generators in the oil and gas sector, but more broad recognition from general public and from industry at large is something that we've struggled to achieve. And the relationship, the partnership with the race team gives us that opportunity to get seen by many, many more people. So Jim, is the car that you're sponsoring, is it running on regular gasoline or is it running on biogas? Um, so the car runs on ethanol. So it's a uh, renewable fuel, um, but it's not, it's not the biogas that will be generated by guests uh, once they get their biogas and uh, RNG plants up and running. Can you add some more color on the actual sponsorship itself? How do you plan on getting the message out? Will you have the Capstone logo on the car? Yes, so the, the Capstone logo is on the car along with the guest logo and the rest of the sponsors for, for the team. Um, and it's on the transport vehicle, uh, the crew uniform. So it, it's, it's really throughout the, the program. And as we travel the country from here to Detroit to Texas and further on in the season, we'll have the opportunity to also work with our distributors and bring customers to the race and get engagement with the fans and the people that attend the race races themselves. And I mean, Capstone has been on quite a roll recently. A lot of wins, new patent wins, new contract wins. You've also got uh, a buy rating from Maxim on the stock. Is this kind of like the icing on the cake for you? How are you feeling right now? Yeah, no, it feels a little bit like that. Um, you know, business is improving. Um, you see the orders and some of the other positive news coming out of the company. Um, you know, as, as the U.S. economy does better, um, we see also improvement in some of the other markets that, that we work in and sell in, and in Europe and Australia. So, no, we're, we're very excited about where the year is going and this uh, visibility just will help drive additional business and awareness around Capsa and the brand. We're super excited. So, George, as, as I mentioned, you're the youngest team owner in Indy car history. I mean, how many people will be watching right now in the audience and televised around the world? Uh, so, so live at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, we'll have uh, roughly 300,000 uh, in the audience around the track. And uh, at home uh, with a new TV deal, the first time ever broadcast on NBC. Uh, we don't have much of a barometer, but based on uh, when the race was on ABC, it's, it's, it ranges in the several millions, in the single digits and millions. Wow, that's great to hear. And George, I mean, the Yankees are doing pretty well for themselves this season. And do you kind of share the same sentiment and outlook for, for number 88 and its driver, Colton Herta? Yes, uh, Colton's an extremely fast driver and uh, we have a great team. And then we always have a great car every weekend we roll out. Um, we're still a younger team, so so we still need a little bit of experience before we can run up front more consistently. But uh, but uh, every weekend we definitely have a car that can run up front and uh, it's just a matter of executing and, and maybe getting a little bit of luck because it's, it's tough to win in this series and, and that's what it takes. Well, I thank you both very much. I hope you have a lot of fun and good luck out there. Thank you. Thank you.